Like Kelly said, Representative Mo Brooks has put some blame on Antifa for the riot and a number of posts online say it was actually Antifa members in disguise that started it all. We've had our verified team breaking down these claims. Here's Jason Puckett. There are a lot of claims that the people who broke into the Capitol on Wednesday weren't Trump supporters, but were actually Antifa members. U.S. Representative Mo Brooks says the evidence is growing that Antifa, quote, orchestrated Capitol attack with clever mob control tactics. So let's break this claim down, starting with these images. This Antifa comrades flyer is being shared a ton with claims it tells Antifa members to disguise themselves as Trump supporters. But a reverse image search shows that this image is more than two months old. It was originally shared on articles like this on election day, November 3rd. And as you can see, the image has the date November 4th clearly in the text. We're marking this false. Then there's this claim, a man in the hallway of the Capitol with a tattoo on his hand, which these posts say is the communist hammer and sickle. But a higher resolution image from Getty Photos shows it's clearly not the hammer and sickle. It's actually a logo from a video game. This claim is false. Then there are tons of claims about this shirtless man wearing a horned hat. Quote, this is not a Trump supporter. This is a staged Antifa attack. Well, we tracked him down. This is Jake Angeli. He's easy to find online as an outspoken QAnon supporter and fan of President Trump. Thank you, President Trump! Now, he's posted photos of meeting Rudy Giuliani and has been photographed protesting against groups like Black Lives Matter and Antifa in the past. Wednesday night, he actually posted that, quote, I am not Antifa or BLM. I'm a QAnon and digital soldier. So claims this man is an Antifa actor in disguise are false. Now, there are more examples of people falsely being labeled Antifa and false messages. And on the other side, there are videos and evidence from people who are clearly Trump supporters, including this video of newly elected West Virginia state rep Derek Evans. He posted this video as he was going into the Capitol, which he later deleted. Deanna Lorraine is a Republican who ran for Congress this year and lost to Nancy Pelosi. She posted this on Parler earlier saying, quote, we stormed the Capitol. We fought through tear gas and bullets and SWAT. Okay, main question. Were the people who broke into the Capitol really Antifa members? Well, at this point, there's no real evidence to back that claim. On the other hand, there were clearly other groups that aren't Antifa involved. We have tons of photos and videos of people waving Trump flags, white supremacist language, and more. We're still just hours after this happened and learning more about the intentions and motives of the people involved. At this point, though, we can say clearly that the claims that all the people who stormed the Capitol were members of Antifa are false. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.